Well, this week we played Lemming Ball Z. It's a party fighter. You could consider it that. Um, it's on PC and Linux. It's de developed by a mysterious uh, team called Lemming Ball Z Team, LBZ Team. Uh, first, first version of this came out in 1999, and it's been making somehow uh, continuous changes for the past 16 years. <laughs> Latest version was 2016, and they're still tweaking this game somehow. There was the addition of all sorts of new characters from more recent Dragon Ball. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started talking about it. Um, so... Uh, why are we playing this? I actually played this game back in high school. Um, I used to dig around on freeware sites, abandoned ware sites, and um, for whatever reason, I saw this game and downloaded it, and me and my neighbor played this for hours and hours. And it was a very early version of the game, uh, but we would just take turns charging our power levels and charging spirit bombs and absolutely just demolishing each other in this game. Uh, it's not a beast game, but it is, you know, it's fun. It's fun to, to smash your friend's face into some rocks or blow them away with giant beams. So, uh, I guess we can talk about, what, what do you guys think about it? I mean, we played a little bit here. Um, yeah, it requires, I think, uh, the overview that is provided within the game to learn the simple mechanics because there's not a lot of uh, clear feedback going on. <laughs> it's sort of a flashy mess of signals. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. It, it, there needs to be, I mean, it feels more like an experiment than a game at certain times uh, or like a programming project just because there's there's, some, there's so much stuff in the game that feels impressive, and there's a total thought went into it, and then there's no, like, the menus are absolute trash. The We couldn't get any of the network play to work. Um, and the, just the directions in general, just, they're, they're funny. I mean, they're kind of charming, because it's just like, you know, just press, you should, you should be smashing this button. Uh, but it, it's, the amateurishness, I think it also adds to the charm of it, though. I think if this was, more polished, I would probably like it a lot less. Yeah, yeah. the the limbing aspect is perfect. That <laughs> it's, it's a fusion no one knew was going to happen. I don't know the where they came score. up with that idea either. <laughs> the lemming the lemming component being that it's on a two D plane and the land is disruptive, I guess. And, and the and they characters kind of are like tiny, a tiny little sort of chibi. Yeah, a little bit chibi. They have they have a lemming aesthetic. It's like they've been put through a lemming filter. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I think I had also played this um, in, like, school, in, like, the computer lab free time segment or something. Seems like something I, I downloaded and messed around with uh, early 2000s, probably. But, um, yeah, I have to agree with everything that's been said. I, I like the mechanics. I like the charge up and like unleashing. I just wish stuff was uh, a little bit more immediate so that you could, you could feel the results of what you're inputting and know that you like pulled it off or not because a lot of times I was unsure of um, you know what action I actually did to make an action happen because it just seemed a little delayed. It's kind of weird but buffer going on. But I really like the zoomed out nature of it. Yeah, I could see we didn't put bots in, but I could see if you if you had eight people <laughs> on a LAN in a in a, a marketing classroom or something in the high school, eight kids on a LAN playing this, they would just be going ape shit. Yeah, the, when Philip or Filter, you mentioned the uh, the playing this in a computer lab. That totally reminded me of uh, like playing pocket tanks or sold at. Yeah. Uh, the, the, those types of I wish there was a name for that genre of game, just because they're so perfect for for that environment. I think they're called computer lab games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this goes in the category of computer lab games. Yeah. 
I actually think it's, I've played some games similar to it, like that are arcade style, but they're much more reined in and like scoped in too. You don't have these tiny little characters, but like if you've ever played Psychic Force, um, no. it's a lot like that. It's a Taito like 3D fighting game, but you have free eight way direction movement. You're, you're both like flying the whole time and you shoot beams at each other and you can slap the beams back and forth. It almost feels a little bit like a, uh, if Windjammers was direct combat. It sort of uh, feels like that. Uh -huh. um, but th I guess this feels akin to that in that family, but a little bit more silly, yeah. Like, um, I don't know. I, I think it's charming how far they took the graphics and like how <laughs> there is no music. <laughs> That's probably uh, sure. a really a cool choice. Uh, but they have some choice sound effects that really sell the sell the experience. I would have loved like a MIDI rendition of the Dragon Ball Super. Song. It could have yeah, been where really it really would have really set it up for me. Maybe with there's mods. no music director on on the LBZ team. None of them have yeah. have that qualification. Well, it's still coming out. I mean, it's still it's, it's still early access. So. <laughs> That's a good yeah. point. That's a good point. <laughs> Can't wait till it goes free to play. <laughs> Yeah, and in the kind of pile of Dragon Ball Z games, of which there are so many poor ones, this one's pretty charming. All right, Neosense, why don't you kick us off with your verdict for Lemming Ball Z uh, this week on Input Select? For me, Lemming Ball Z is very uh, cute. It's very charming, and there's something... I give it a 3.5, if, if I may. Uh, and there's something just so period-specific about the whole aesthetic going on here that does it for me. I wish I could understand a little more what was going on, but I bet you if I was in that computer lab and I had enough time, I could probably get put some good whoopins down on Lemming Ball Z. Uh, all, all in all, cute w would have on my computer. Uh, what, what did you think about it, Rabdo? So I said this game is absolute chaos. It's exciting and hype combat keeps you asking, what? Uh, in general, uh, you know, it's I think the chaos of it and just seeing how fast the characters move and seeing things happen on the screen. You're like, who did that? Was that me? Like that one kaleidoscopic blast that was either Aang from avatar or majin boo that it lit up like the entire screen that was it was amazing but there's there's no way to know how to replicate that so you kind of just are like, oh, like that was awesome uh i really like the deep roster and i like having the different different ish move list for everyone uh it kind of made me want to just dig in and see who has the coolest moves um and i really liked the they threw in some weird oddball characters like Aang, like I mentioned, and uh, Ichigo from Bleach. So I gave it a solid three. Um, you know, the depth, you know, isn't quite there, but it's 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 a fun toy and uh, a perfect computer lab game. <laughs> what do you think, Filter? Yeah, thanks. Um, I. I, I agree with the three points um basically i say it's a it's an interesting game engine it seems they seem to have made from scratch it's got some sick effects uh you know the the beams the water the way that the terrain deforms as you blast people into it that's all really well fleshed out uh in a way that like uh, makes it fun to interact with um but in terms of being a competitive game yeah it kind of falls short uh, due to like just being a little rubber bandy and how you're moving around and stuff uh, but that doesn't really mean it's not a worthwhile experience. It's definitely a spectacle to look at. I said it's like a playable visualizer. Um, I don't really know what triggers the slowdown. I, I don't, but it's a it's a cool cinematic effect, and that seems to be like the the goal of the game is just pulling off uh, cool moments against your friends, beating them into the ground, and possibly beating them to the core of the earth, and watching them burn in molten lava or magma whichever it is um, I, I would recommend checking it out but you know I wouldn't say it's uh, a tournament viable game or any, by any means but definitely worth checking out 
yeah, I think, wow, that, that's a, <laughs> that's a really good summation. The, the playable visualizer. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's perfect. The effects yeah. are really awesome. Like for they're great. I mean, I would love to see the 1999 original, but I feel like a lot of what's there now uh, was there in the foundation, probably. You could make this run on lots of weird stuff, right? Like this thing's no, probably. Our, our cabinet. <laughs> yeah, that would be really oh, funny. Man. <laughs> That's a great idea <laughs> for four players. Set it up at your local barcade. <laughs> On a, a big monitor. Just make one and sell it to them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's got a big Nimbus on the top of it. I think you could also set up AI to fight each other if you really want to see some... Whoa. Ooh, yeah, and bet money on it. 